Good morning, Grammar 5. We're going to start to solve the, the present sheet for the first term. Page one, question one, approximate the following to the nearest hundred. So if the question is to the nearest hundred or two decimal places or this one, so we're starting to look at the hundred. Like the answer here, we have 23.452. So put a line, a line under the 100 and look at the right. What do you find? We find number two. So we remember two is a poor number. So if two is a poor number, so it doesn't give anything to number five. So the answer will be write the, write the whole digits, but remove number two or put zero, it's the same. And number five, keep five like uh, like this so next one four and three over eight three over eight we can't approximate a fraction so we need to convert this fraction to a decimal number to find a decimal number we need to make the fraction have 1000 or 100 or 10 in the denominator so we have eight here and you know the magic number so to reach the magic number to 1,000, eight multiplies 125 and three by 125 because when we multiply the denominator, we multiply the numerator. So eight by 125 becomes 1,000 like this here, like this one. And three by 125 becomes 375. All equals we have in the denominator three zeros, so the, uh, the point becomes after three digits. So the answer would be 4.375. Next one, 41 and nine over 500. We need to make it like, uh, to make it 1000 in the denominator. So we do multiplying two and put the point and then approximate to nearest hundred. The eight will look at the zero. Uh, the number, uh, the, eight, the one looks at eight, and the eight gives one to the number one, and the one becomes two. 99.39 uh, and then one. So the hundred is this nine. The nine looks at the next nine, like here, and the nine becomes 10, zero, and carry up one. Zero, carry up one. Then the 99 becomes 100 point all zeros, so it will be 100 the answer and it's done. Next one we have, it's, uh, it's ready to, uh, to make it like decimal numbers. So we need, we need to do put the, the point after one, two, three, four digits because here we have one, two, three, four zeros. So the point will be after four digits and then approximate three looks at four because three is the hundred looks at four and three becomes three because four is four number and doesn't give anything. So this one is ready. We have here the hundred, put line after the hundred, look at the one and the one is four number, doesn't give anything to number five. Next one. Find the result. We need to plus and then approximate to nearest 100. So to add two numbers, put them under each other, put three points after each other, and then put the number starting from the point. Let them number to a gamble point 12, we here, 345, here, one, and 820, 820. So start from the right to the left. Five plus zero equals five, four plus two equals six, Three plus eight equals one. After the point, two plus one equals four. One plus zero equals one. And then approximate the, the six. This one looks at the five. Five is rich number. So the six will take one, become seven, and the five becomes zero. We can not write it, and or we can write it. It's okay. Next one. We have dividing 100. Divide 100, what should we do? The divide moves the point to the left. 
So the point is here. To move it, we need to move it twice because we have here two zeros. So, Harak Maritain, one, two, the point becomes between four and five. And this will be after dividing. After this, the five looks at number two. The two is four numbers. So, the five is still the same because we need to approximate the nearest tens. Next one, we need to add the same method as before, put the points under each other and put your numbers and then add six plus zero equals six. One plus five is six, seven plus seven, 14, four, carry up one. Three plus zero, three plus one equals four, five plus two, seven, one plus one equal two, and then approximate. Here we put 10 minus 3.5116. So what should we do? Put the point under each other. So we don't have point in the number 10. No, we have point, but it's here. So the point is here, we write it, and all the number before it, it's zeros. So we will start with the, the last zero, zero minus six can't be. So we will borrow from all the numbers till we find number one. The one becomes zero, and the rest is nine, 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 nine. The last one is 10. 10 minus six equals four. Nine minus one equals nine, eight. Nine minus one equals eight. Nine minus five equals four. Put the points. Last one, nine minus three equals six. And that's the answer. We need to approximate. So who will look at the right? Here we have thousand. Thousand is the third number. So eight looks at four. Four is four number. So the eight still the same. Next one, we need to convert from gram to kilogram. And then approximate to nearest kilogram means to nearest unit. So what should we do first? We need to divide by thousand because we need to convert from gram to kilogram. So dividing thousand, put the point after three digits. The point starts from here and then it moves three digits to become between six and three. So the number will be like this, and then approximate. Approximate, six looks at three, because six is the unit. The three is four number, so the answer is 42. Next one, from milliliter to liter. So how would you approximate? Approximate to nearest liter means to nearest unit. So first, we need to divide by thousand right so the point becomes between four and five here so the five looks at four and then approximate five looks at four four is four number so the five stay the same next one is easy multiplying 100 so to multiply 100 multiply move the, the point to the right so the point is here move it to the right twice because we have here two zeros move the point twice so it will become the point is here here the point doesn't show next one dividing 1000 why 1000 because here is the point if the point is not shown so it's here move the point to become here the point here is after three digits so it moves to the left three times, three times means three zero, and moving to the left means divide. So we divided 1,000. Here, what is the number? If we multiply it by 10, the answer will be like this. So where were the point before? And then it became between nine and four. So it was here between two and nine and moved once to the right. So what is the, what is the original number? The original number is 2.4. 9, 4. After the, multiplying by 10, the point is between 9 and 4. This one, if we divided 10, divided by 10, the answer is 17.35. So what happened? The point moved from here, it became between 7 and 3. So the original number is 173.5. So the, the, we put the point here. Because after, div after dividing 10, the point moved to the left. We want to know the original point. So here, 
the point was here and then moved but the point now is here so what happened so it moved twice why twice because here is the first one the next one is zero so the point moved twice to the right so we multiplied by 100 because 100 moving uh, the point twice here we divided 10 why because the point was here it become it became here between three and six between three and six so the point was here it became between six and three so it moved once to the left means divide 10. next page multiplying fractions so remember multiplying fractions we need first simplify because he said here he wanted to the simplest form what is the meaning of the simplest form make it smaller as you can so one over eight is pi two over three we have any number in the denominator and any number from the numerator in the same table so we have two and eight in table two so how can we simplify divide two here and divide two in this one so divide two the first one becomes one the second one becomes four so divide two eight divide two equal four two divide two equals one so multiply the numerators with, with each other and the denominator with each other so one by one equals one four by three equals twelve the same here we have to simplify so three with nine divide three equals one divide three equals three here four with eight divided four equals one divided four equals two multiply one plus one or one by one equals one three by two equals six next one one over two by four over five simplify so divided two in the denominator here equals one divided two up here equals two one by two equals two one by five equals five next one three over four eight over nine the same divided four here equals one divided four equals two three with nine is easy divided three equals one divided three equals three this one how can we do this here we have 36 we don't have fractions so no it can't be fraction how put one under here so as we solve it seven we here 36 here nine and one 36 up here and nine in the same table table nine nine divided nine equals one 36 divided nine equals four seven by four and one by one here we have one but we cannot write it so it will become 28 over one because one by one equals one seven by four equals 28 but we write it only 28 the same here put one here here we have three and one here 32 and four 32 and four in table four divided four equals one divided four equals eight becomes 24 three divided seven by 28 so we have here 28 over one 28 and seven three and one all in table seven so three divided seven equals one 28 divided seven equals four three by four equals 12 and one by one equals one so it becomes 12. six over ten the same 30 30 over one 30 and 10 in table 10 divided 10 equals one divided 10 equals three six by three equals 18 one by one equals one and now we have solved all this multiplying fraction next divide fraction the same but first we we make the divide the division as multiplication like this and flip the second uh, fraction so three over four becomes four over three and now we multiply after before multiplication we need to do uh, simplify because he asked here to get it in the simplest form so we have here six over one and four over three divided three divided three here becomes two and this becomes one two by four equals eight one by one equals one so it will become one eight over one or eight on next one 18 divide two over seven make this multiplication and flip the second fraction so seven over two and here 18 divided two equal one divided two equals nine nine by seven 63 one by one equals one next 
8 divided 1 over 4. 8 over 1 by 4 over 1. 8 by 4. What is the simplification? How can you, can you simplify? No, because here we have 1 and 1. And uh, up here we have 4 and 8. So we can simplify. So multiply. 8 by 4 equals 32. And, be, and uh, the, the denominator equals 1. So we don't write. 16 divided 4 over 5. Flip the second one and do this as multiplication. So it becomes 16 over 1 by 5 over 4. Simplify, becomes 4, and this one becomes 1. 4 by 5 equals 12. The same here. The second one is 16 over 7. Divided 7 up and down, becomes 1 and 1. 8 and 16 divided 8 equals 1. Divided 8 equals 3. 1 by 3 equals uh, it becomes two, sorry. This one is two. So divided eight equals two, divided eight equals one. One by two equals two, and one by one equals one. Next one, we need to flip the second one, 11 over, 30, 11 over three. So divided 11 equals one, divided 11 equals one. Three by one equals, and uh, simplify it, three with nine, becomes three. One over two divides nine over four, the same. 1 over 2 by 4 over 9. 2 divided 2 equals 1. 4 divided 2 equals 2. 1 by 2 equals 2. 1 by 9 equals 9. 1 over 4 divided 7 over 8. Flip the 7 over 8. becomes 8 over 7 and then multiply. 1 by 8. Here we have 8 and 4. Divided 4 equals 1. Divided 4 equals 2. Multiply. 1 by 2 equals 2. 1 by 7 equals 7. Now we will arrange. How can we arrange fractions? First one, we have here all the denominators are equal. So we have here seven, 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 seven. So it's easy to arrange. Arrange ascendingly. How to arrange ascendingly? From the small one to the big one. First one is two over seven. This is the smaller one because all the denominators are equal. So the smaller one is two over three, two over seven. Next. 3 over 7, next 5 over 7, and the last one is 6 over 7. What if the, numerator, the numerators are equal? So look at the denominator and do the opposite. The big one is the smallest one. How 1 over 9 is the smallest one, and then 1 over 8, and then 1 over 4, and then 1 over 2. But what if the, all the numerators, all the denominators are different? What should we do? First, Make the all the denominators are equal. How? What is the big one? 12. The greatest one is 12. So if 12 in the tables in 3 and 4 and 2, so make all the denominators equal 12. Is that how 2, 3, or 4? That's 12. Build multiply. Multiply 2 by 6 becomes 12. So 2 by 6 and 1 by 6. Four becomes twelve by multiplying three by three tax by three four uh, nine over twelve. Right. Three is that about twelve by four, three by four and two by four. By twelve we eight. Five or twelve, still the same because here we have all the denominators are twelve. So how can we arrange? It's easy. All the denominators are equal. So arrange descendingly, start from the greatest one. The greatest one is 9 over 12, then 8 over 12, then 6 over 12, then 5 over 12. Next one. Here we have 3 over 8, 1 over 2, 0 0.79, and 7 over 10. We can make them all decimal. How can we make all them, all of them decimal? We have here magic numbers, two and eight. And here we have 10, so it's easy. How? Make the eight like 10 or 100 or 1,000. In eight, in 125. So eight by 125, three by 125. Two and one. Here we have two. If two can, can become 10. So two by five, one by five. 0 0.79, the same. Seven over 10 stays the same. So the new fractions are 375 or 1,000 instead of 3 over 8. 
1 over 2 becomes 5 over 10 and the same as each other so uh how long this man 375 here we have three zero so it's a point after three digits one two three the point is here five over ten is 0 0.5 0 0.79 the same seven over ten the same the greatest one here 375 so we, we need to make them all of them three digits and put the zeros in five of the other two zeros and the three digits is 79 that is the zero then i range it from the greatest to the smallest the greatest one is right 709 then 700 then 500 the latest one is 375 next one here it's easy because we have here three and three and three and here we have five so the greatest one is five then the other all the all of them have three here but the fraction is different so arrange the fraction the smallest fraction is the greatest fraction sorry is three over five the smallest uh, the smaller one two over five the smallest one is one over five so we have here start with five and then three and three over five three and two over five three and one over five uh, so we will continue uh, next session this one is over so if you have any questions uh, ask in the group and we will answer you in the live session.